How's it going everybody, Godbear here. Once again, thank you for clicking into one of my videos. We are back with our YTB Madden series. The season is tied up with both teams having two wins, so two to two currently with the record. So this game is going to be a tiebreaker. And again, I just want to express my gratitude and appreciation to each and every one of you. We have 16 total members with the new player. You guys are gonna see him once we get to the attribute boosts the appearance changes being in Dondre Welch he wanted some gloves and then he wanted the long tape instead of the short tape and then Conrad instead of being six foot one wanted to be six foot five so now he's just a monstrous hard to get over safety a lot like the new addition of crazy hands the free safety for the Chiefs Conrad being a strong safety though so it's going to suck being the Ravens quarterback having to go up against three defensive players now but hopefully I can come out here and have that man and all the Chiefs defenders be in the wrong place at the right time and then just keep all of my options on my offense away from the defensive targets. So of course, that's always the game plan. Just gotta come out here and fulfill it because my accuracies, as you guys saw, because I had 10 attribute points, are finally all at at least 70. Short and mid are at 70, and the deep is at 80. And then my speed and my throw power are both also at 80. So I have nothing higher than 80, but I feel like that's a good number. And of course, I'm just hoping that my player can showcase what he's truly capable of doing along with the players I have on my team, the Baltimore Ravens. I hope we all can thrive and show what we're truly capable of doing. And then the opposite side of the spectrum, being the Chiefs, I hope you guys just play like absolute duds and have lackluster performances and get zero experience and do not build up your characters. But that's besides the point. I feel like the spin wheel just happens to like the new players. They like the fresh meat and it happens to land on them two of the four spins because the first time it landed on Alexander, the linebacker, and now it landed on our new guy in my wide receiver, Clive Parker. But this is not how I want to start the game. You see the agility of Joshi Oof just continuing to shine. The 90 agility that this man has, he can maneuver past any of us nobody on the baltimore ravens defense has very high agility so until we can get to the point to kind of combat that we're gonna struggle he's gonna be able to cut like that and just maneuver like i said around us and get into the end zone but punch punch despite having 40 attribute points to allocate onto his player because he has yet to either see a video or comment down below on where he would like to allocate those points is still performing and now we're trying to bottle this man up we have two defenders they both are on the right side or if you're looking at this angle the top side of the screen of course that means one side is more favorable so dragon elite you have best case scenario because strong safety is on that top of the screen the first string corner is also on the top side of the screen so ideally, we should be able to completely shut down Sean Toaster and Coco Puff. And of course, being strong safety and just wanting the defense to dominate anyways, I just hope we can be in the right place at the right time and get these stops, get a hefty lead, and just push a monstrous deficit on these Kansas City Chiefs. This agility monster in oof is becoming a workhorse for these Chiefs. What I've been noticing is the Kansas City team has so many more offensive plays than the Ravens do. As a moment ago, you saw that Conrad had an opportunity to get his very first pick of the game. And that's one thing I can not knock on Hyphy, the opposing quarterback. He does not put the ball where it can get picked. A lot of time he's very conservative with his passes and... I am not liking these defensive players as we're punting. They're also going to get a special team's punt block, pick it up, and take it into the end zone off of Anthony Alexander, changing the momentum with causing a fumble against Punch Punch. Punch's 
second fumble of his career. So we're definitely going to have to be worrisome about that because Alexander is the only linebacker. His job is literally to stop the run. And he's had a lot of tackles in the few games that he's been in this series. And I don't like it. He's tackled me a couple times and stole a couple of my touchdowns. But that's the, besides the point. We get into the end zone regardless, so we need to get a big lead, and it's not looking like we're going to be able to do that as Sean Toaster, you're getting your hands on that one, but you saw Dondre Welch jump and try to reach around you to steal that one, and now Dragon Elite, you got the CPU corner over here, Hyphy just needs to look your way, which he tends to never do, he's always shying away towards that right side because he's got two targets over there but there's also two defensive players in Conrad who forces a fumble and then Dondre Welch who's also there to pick it up and you two I hope you can continue to recreate plays exactly like that one that was phenomenal and now the first catch for the new man who had zero targets, zero receptions in his debut last week. He's actually going to take this one 92 yards for a touchdown. And I know you didn't get to do anything in your debut, but in terms of your first successful play, you come out with this. I'm happy about that. Thank you for the 92 yards which you also received. And we both get the touchdown. That was a humongous experience play for the both of us and I am very happy about that of course I want all of my options on my offense just to create big plays even if they're in small dunk down passes you guys are capable of doing great things despite having three defensive players out here on the Kansas City Chiefs as number 24 the new man crazy hands actually got slowed up and stumbled on the back of number 35 over there otherwise he probably would have been able to keep up and possibly bat that one down if not get a touchdown saving tackle and this is that deficit I would love as now it's our turn to stumble over players you see Conrad ended up tripping over whoever that was on the offensive side and just a couple weird animations, number 95 kind of popping up, but now, besides that, Dodger Welch getting a tackle in this game, and these dunk down passes, Hyphy being very accurate in this series is showcasing that he can throw any ball he wants to, and I don't like that, I am your rival competitive opposing quarterback as you get down to the one yard line, and then stuffed at third and goal, trying again, and now Anthony Sherman gets a touchdown. CPUs do not get celebratory scenes, so it's just a touchdown cut to the next opposing drive in which Sean Mafia gets over the top and goes to the side where you have nobody apparently. I don't know what coverage you were in, but neither of your safeties were back deep. There's Isaac Heron, but you saw that he was out of position and had to try to run over and just attempt to stop the play but out of position and we have that two possession lead loving it oh so much this man continuing just to cut on the dime and get first downs if not much bigger and now what probably should have been a face mask is still a first down hyphy just airing this ball out and then conrad touchdown saving tackle but then it goes to Joshi Oof getting down inside the 5 to the 2 yard line, sacked by Conrad. He gets up, picks up the ball, and you know there ain't going to be nobody to catch this man. And he's already got 30 yards of separation, nobody's going to even touch him. And I didn't think anybody was going to be able to get another sack. Of course, strong safeties tend to be the safety that defensive play calling gets the blitz and it worked out very well he got in and very quickly tackled and sacked Hyphy he caught the ball up and then nobody was close enough or back by the quarterback to pick up the fumble and you guys saw what the outcome was and that was a humongous ass play Conrad has been playing lights out not even a lie that's his second forced fumble both of which were turnovers and that is just insane I can't believe this man has performed to what he has done is ridiculous and that's why we win the game and I know it does say I am player of the game but I'm actually going to forfeit that 
and give it to Conrad for the performance he had in this game. So he will get the extra plus three experience for the player of the game. This man had seven tackles, one sack, one pass deflection, two forced fumbles, both of which were recovered so they count as turnovers with a defensive touchdown. That is a career statistic game. And if anybody defensively can play better than that, I don't, I don't even know who it's going to be or how it's going to happen, but my lord, I could not and did not expect anybody to have this kind of game, especially this early on. Defensively, it is hard to get towards the ball, especially with how many abysmal CPU players they are. A lot of time, it's just the offense outrunning the 50-speed defenders, and then our players trying to be in the right position or chase them down to prevent a touchdown. But this man, in the right place, at the right time, which we've mentioned that a couple times already, but that's what it comes down to with this YTV series. It comes to the player builds, the player location, and it really just shined in this one, and Conrad Congratulations, I'm literally forfeiting my player of the game and giving it to you because I could not rob you of the game you had in this one. And I'm looking forward to seeing you trying to repeat it in the next game. And we take a 3-2 lead on the season, hoping we can just get some wins rolling back to back. And that's going to wrap this game up. We have witnessed a monstrous historical performance i just cannot get over it so my hat goes off to you i'm happy you're on my team because that was a devastating i guess sequence of events that you had going for you the force fumble right before the first half which we got the turnover and a score with that and then of course, you got the sack fumble and took that back for another score, and we won by multiple possessions. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section and by that thumbs up. Much appreciated. And until next time, everybody, Godbear out.